This broadcast is brought to you by the Phillips Learning Center. The full e-learning course on Anatomy, Physiology, and Pathology Review using MRI, MR Angiography, can be found at theonlinelearningcenter.com under the Magnetic Resonance Imaging section of the course catalog. This course provides an overview of the most commonly used MRA techniques, post-processing methods, and anatomy and common pathological conditions affecting the vasculature along with images and case studies. MRA has continued to improve over the last decade. Its technical advances like high-performance gradients, Upgrades in hardware and faster pulse sequences have improved the spatial resolution, quality, speed, and reliability of MRA. Compared to conventional catheter-injected angiography, MRA has the advantages of not using any ionizing radiation, and it is a non-invasive or minimally invasive procedure. MR angiography, MRA, is an accurate, non-invasive technique for the assessment of the vasculature throughout the body. Blood, like other tissues in the body, can be visualized with MRI. It is important to understand blood hemodynamics since it determines the signal intensity. The different types of blood flow include steady flow, pulsatile flow, laminar flow, and turbulent flow. MRI offers a number of magnetic resonance angiography, MRA, scan techniques for vascular evaluation of the head, neck, body, and peripheral circulation. The MRA imaging scan methods most commonly used today include time of flight, TOF, or inflow MRA, phase contrast MRA, or contrast enhanced MRA, CE MRA. The inflow MRA technique is based on the enhancement of flowing blood and suppression of stationary tissue in a limited volume. This technique relies on refreshed blood flowing into a slice or volume and thus providing a bright signal. Phase contrast MRA, PCA, relies on the phase of moving blood and not the inflowing effect into a slice or volume. Unlike the inflow technique, PCA is sensitive to flow coming into the slice or volume from any direction. Contrast-enhanced MRA offers many benefits compared to the inflow and PCA techniques. The visualization of the vessels is based on the short T1 of gadolinium contrast and not susceptible to the saturation effects and variations of blood flow velocity. Post-processing methods facilitate various images display formats which aid in the interpretation of the study and to better understand the complex anatomic relationships. The most commonly utilized displays are multiplanar reformats, MPR, maximum intensity projection, MIP, shaded surface rendering, SSD, and volume rendering, VR. Now we will review the vascular anatomy of certain body parts and some common pathology and disease processes. MRA of the head and neck region. Here is a contrast-enhanced MRA of the neck acquired at 1.5 Tesla. MRA of the brain typically uses no contrast media, while studies of the carotid arteries and body are done with or without contrast. Here is an MRA of the circle of Willis demonstrating a large aneurysm of the right internal carotid artery. 
Renal MRA is fast, accurate, and reliable. Shown here is a CE MRA of a patient with renal stenosis. Notice the excellent detail of the renal arteries and segmental arteries as they enter the kidney. MRA of lower extremity can be utilized for peripheral vascular evaluation. To achieve high-quality peripheral MRA, the peripheral vessels must be imaged in the relatively short time with the contrast material in the arterial phase. Shown is a 1.5T 4D track peripheral MRA study demonstrating high spatial and temporal resolution. This module reviews MRA of the brain, carotid, chest, body, and extremities.